Welcome to Sketching Scotland, a series of tutorials to help you draw our beautiful country. For this sketch, we are travelling to Glasgow to draw the Riverside Museum, home of Glasgow's world-class transport collection. If you're going to be doing lots of sketching, I would recommend you buy a few essentials. A hardback sketchbook and a range of pencils, pencil sharpener, a rubber or an eraser if you're from across the pond, a good seat and desk, kitchen table will probably do the trick, or you can draw on a tablet as I'm doing on this demo. But all you need are the three P's, paper, pencil, and a bit of patience. Okay, let's get sketching. So we'll start off by drawing our horizon line, which is gonna be about a quarter of the way from the bottom of the page. Then we are gonna draw a big rectangle, and that's gonna be the main bounding box of, of the building. And then we're going to do a bit of a dot to dot because uh, the building is in a kind of wave shape. So we just want to get our, all, our, all our angles right. It was designed by architect Zaha Hadid um, to look like a, a wave to reflect the, the wave in the Clyde. It was a rich kind of shipbuilding industry within, within the Clyde. Lots of, lots of ships were built um, in the Clyde, including lots of royal vessels. So we're just going in and adding all other kind of zigzag lines it looks of wave like shapes he's going to go over them in a little bit more detail and that's kind of the main facade of of the building he's going to rub out some of the sharper edges and just give it a little bit more of a curved edge which kind of reflects the the building it looks kind of really smooth when you're when you're there and uh it is actually free to enter as well, unbelievably. It was a European Museum of the Year uh, back in 2013, and it's free to enter. With over 3,000 things to go and see. Could keep you busy for a few hours. Uh, yeah, so we're just going in here and drawing in all the windows. Um, again, not matter too much about how many numbers or windows you put in here. There's a lot of them, so something to reflect that. Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful sort of glass facade on, on the building. Just going to go back in here and just emphasise the, the curve of that inner part of it. And put in a bit of the surrounding area, skyline of Glasgow. And just some kind of, some lamp posts around the, around the edges of the, of the building. And then just going to go in and add a bit of detail into the, the roof part of it. And then I'm going to start adding lots of just shading here. So we need cross hat shading, which will take a little bit of a while again. You can do this in different ways. You can add, use the side of your pencil to add it. But I'm going to go in here. We're going to go in here and add lots of cross hatching. Yeah, there is, like I said, I think I said 3,000 objects on display. Every form of transport you could imagine from like cars and massive steam locomotive, which is quite something. Uh, what else have they got? Like bicycles, trams, buses, they've got skateboards, they've got, uh, yeah, just about every single transport item you could, you could imagine. What I quite like about it is quite interactive. You can hop onto the old buses, so you can kind of feel what it was like back in the sort of early 20th century. They've got a whole street that you can wander into the shops and kind of see the horse-drawn carriage. You can even hop into the old Glasgow subway or underground. And it's all like that nice wooden seat, so it feels really authentic. Um, interesting fact about the, the Glasgow subway, because you entered on the left side, it's got like one big loop, basically. Uh, they never used to paint the other side of the, the carriage. The doors don't even open. So it was just, which I thought was quite clever. That's thrifty Scots. Saving on paint. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on adding all the cross hatching here. This will be, this is quite a relaxing part of it. I always find when you add all these little, little details. Kind of keeps you, it's a bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Just kind of keeps you nice and relaxed. It's nice that you kind of get to feel the history of Glasgow as well, all the kind of interactives and there's lots of films, like old footage. Even the placards just give you nice little bits of information about 
about what it was like to live in the city. So you really kind of feel like you're transported and back in time. I don't think they've got a time machine. You'd have to travel to Bowness as a tiny little transport museum that's got a DeLorean in it. From the Back to Future film. You know when they went back in time. But yeah, you know the film. I've said it before, but it's free to enter. I can always, I can't always quite believe that it's free. Um, there's quite a few places in Glasgow like that. The Kelvin Grove Museum is another one, which is like totally amazing. And again, free to enter. And the Modern Art Gallery, which is right in the center of, of the city, which again is free to, free to enter. I spent many of my art school days in there. An art shop right across from, right across from that actually. It's quite handy to buy, buy some new materials. Yeah, I finished the cross action, and then I think this one is a one at night time as well. It's a beautifully lit up building. Yeah, it's kind of got this green glow to it, which in a nice clear night, it's really, really nice just to wander. There's a tall ship right next to it as well, the Glen Lee. So it looks really, really nice even when it's closed, you can just have a little wander about. And that is the Riverside Museum in Glasgow. When you've completed this one, why not try sketching another location? We'd love to see your sketches, so please send them to us using the hashtag SketchingScotland. It's not quite the same as being here, only in Scotland can you appreciate the full beauty of these types of sites, but it should keep you busy until you can come and sketch in person. For now, happy drawing! <laughs>